In this video, we're going to talk all about eXp Realty's stock incentives and the stock as a whole. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, so this isn't stock or an investment advice. Go talk to an accountant or do your own research. But I at least wanted to break down what stock incentives eXp Realty offers for their agents. I want to address some common questions agents have about the stock incentives and about the stocks and even some you know, rebuttals that they have. And I wanted to give you kind of my opinion on what I think about the stock and the future of the stock, just being an agent with them for the last 10 years. So let's get started. But if you just happen to stumble on this video, just know this is a part of a longer series where I address common questions that people have about eXp. So if you're interested in learning more about my team at eXp and what I do for agents who join me at eXp, you'll find a link in the description there as well. So let's first touch on why the stock incentives exist and really why this is revolutionary. So Glenn Sanford introduced this a couple years after I joined. Remember, I joined eXp Realty back in 2011, and this wasn't available back then. And essentially what he said is after the, the company went public is he said, I want to find a way so that agents who help grow this company can be a part of the ownership. Now, I want you to think about how revolutionary that idea really is. So we typically think about tech companies who give employees stock incentives, and that's fantastic. But to think about it from a real estate brokerage perspective, giving agent stock, they're really kind of giving their consumer stock. So it would be kind of like if every time you bought something from Amazon, Jeff Bezos gave you a little bit of Amazon stock. Pretty revolutionary. But what it has done is actually encouraged buy-in and encouraged ownership from his agent group. And so there are a lot of ways you can earn and purchase stock in the eXp Realty model because, again, they want to encourage you to do things that are beneficial for you and beneficial for your business, but also beneficial for eXp Realty business as a whole. So there are really three ways you can earn stock at eXp. eXp Realty will give you stock when you close your first deal. They'll give you stock when you cap and they'll give you stock when you bring on an agent to the company and they close their first deal. So that is stock that is awarded to you. Now, it's important to understand that with these stock awards, there are thresholds and timelines that you have to hit. It's not just stock that you immediately get that you can go out and sell. A lot of these have a three year vesting period. So you actually have to be with the company for three years before you actually can take that stock and cash it out. But regardless, it's nice that the company actually does this because they don't have to do it. And there are a lot of other real estate companies that this just isn't a part of their model. But again, the leadership team at eXp wants buy-in. They want ownership and they really kind of want those golden handcuffs where agents who come and join and they accumulate a lot of stock, they're encouraged to stay and continue to collaborate and help other agents. So when all the agents do well, the stock does well. And I think that is a huge missing piece in a lot of other companies that I think eXp Realty is doing that's pretty revolutionary. So those were the three easiest ways to earn stock at eXp Realty. There's actually a fourth way, and it's pretty remarkable when you think about it. It's called eXp Realty's Icon Agent Program. So we talked about once you cap, eXp Realty will award you some stock, but if you actually hit some production thresholds above the cap and agree to do some other things like volunteer and teach classes, you can apply to be a part of eXp Realty's Icon Agent Program. And if you get accepted into the Icon Agent Program, you get your full $16,000 cap, so the cap that you've paid eXp Realty, back in stock. Think about how powerful that is. You've essentially paid a company a ton of money and they're willing to give it back to you in stock because you're offering to teach classes and pour back into other agents. So the Icon Agent program alone for agents who have a good amount of transactions and are capping on a regular basis is a huge value add because again, it's something that the company doesn't have to do. The last way that you can get stock is through their purchase plan. And so the way I like to describe this is actually, I like to talk about my first retail job. When I was 16, I was working at a retail company and they had a purchase plan there as well. And basically what it was is you could divert a part of your paycheck and invest in the company stock at a discount. Well, eXp Realty has the same thing. So every closing you have at eXp Realty, you can elect to have 5% of your commission purchasing eXp stock at a 10% 
discount. Just think about that. Most annual returns that are looked at as profitable are 10%, right? And it's the fact that you can go and actually buy a stock that's publicly traded on the NASDAQ at a 10% discount out of each and every closing is pretty powerful. It's allowed some of our agents to build up a nice nest egg and really kind of save for retirement or save for that day they want to actually get out of the business. So you get that stock at a 10% discount and that is stock that's yours right away because you purchased it and you can go and you can sell it or you can hold on to it for the future. So those are just a handful of ways that eXp has actually incentivized kind of agents with not only being a public company, but actually providing and giving them ownership. And again, all of these things are things that eXp doesn't have to do. So let's talk about one of the major questions that I see pop up in some of the Facebook groups. And that's, Jeff, if the eXp stock is so great, why don't I just go to a 100% shop and take the $16,000 that I would save from being a capping agent and invest that in the EXP stock. Well, you could, <laughs> you can do that. And maybe that makes sense for you. But what you're missing out if you go and you do that is you miss out on all the other benefits of EXP that you aren't gonna get at a smaller shop or a shop that's 100%, right? You're not gonna get all the technology. You're not gonna get the tools. You're not gonna get the revenue share. You're not gonna get the 60 plus hours of live education. You're not gonna get all of the collaboration and all everything else that comes along with eXp. So with eXp, you can essentially have the best of both worlds. You can plug into all the tools, you can plug into all of the systems, and you can potentially get that $16,000 that you paid in a cap back in the form of stock if you apply and become one of our icon agents. So I think that's a fantastic perk that eXp Realty offers that's just not available at a lot of other companies. So how am I looking at eXp Realty stock as a whole? And what is kind of the way I think about the stock and the stock price and where it's headed at in the future? And there's a couple things that I continue to lean on. The first one is eXp Realty is profitable. So often when we think about technology companies, we think about companies that don't make a lot of money and actually hemorrhage money. That seems to be a common thing in 2021 and beyond is we have these big tech companies that spend more money than they actually make and they aren't profitable. eXp Realty as of the last couple of years is a profitable company. So they make more money than they spend and they are profitable and sustainable. They aren't taking venture capital funds. They aren't reliant on an outside source of funds to be a profitable business. The second thing that I love to look at is this chart that eXp Realty provides and it has to do with agent count and revenue. And you'll see with this chart, and I'll put it up here right now, there's a very clear correlation with the number of agents that eXp Realty has correlates with the amount of revenue that they've generated. So what I love about this is as a shareholder, I love when revenue goes up. Well, eXp Realty has been adding agents like crazy. This time last year, we had 30, 35,000 agents. Now we have 70,000 agents and we continue to grow. And that growth is exponential. In the last couple of years, they've started to grow exponentially across the world. So we are now open in the UK and in Australia and in India and in Mexico. And in some of these places, we are literally, when I say we, eXp Realty, is literally changing the way real estate is done because the model is that powerful. So when we think about the outlook of the stock, those are the things that I tend to look at. It's profitable, the revenue grows, when agent count grows, and agent count has been on an unstoppable trajectory upwards. And so that's what I love about the company. Now, there's a piece of this that I think no one talks about and no one properly thinks about. And that is when you earn stock and when you buy stock, and even if you were to go buy it off of your E-Trade account, you're buying stock in EXP World Holdings. Not EXP Realty, but EXP World Holdings. EXP World Holdings is a holding company, just like Alphabet is a holding company for Google. And guess what? EXP Realty is just one business that eXp World Holdings owns. eXp World Holdings has been smart and they've used the fact that they're a public company and they've actually gone out and purchased other technology tools and systems and companies. So their 3D virtual world that they use is put on by a company called Verbella. Well, a couple of years ago, eXp World Holdings purchased Verbella. Well, guess what? When the pandemic hit, 
Verbella, as its own separate business, separate from eXp Realty, started to take off because people started to realize that not everyone wants to go into an office, not everyone wants to work five days a week, nine to five in an office. And so Verbella has started to do online conventions. They've started to do online concerts. They've started to do online offices for big and small companies. This is just one example. Recently, eXp Realty Holdings acquired Success Magazine, which is a huge plethora of kind of online media materials and an actual physical magazine. They also acquired Showcase IDX, which is another technology provider in the real estate industry that's been doing IDX websites for years. And so when you go and you look at these acquisitions about eXp World Holding, you'll see that the leadership team seems to have a really firm grasp on where the industry is headed and they're taking the steps needed to actually go and position not only eXp Realty, but investors in eXp World Holdings in a path for success. When we think about Showcase IDX, the founder has come out and actually said, we purchased Showcase IDX because we want to build a national website that competes with Zillow. When they went and purchased Success, they actually did a lending partnership with a company called King Lending, and they are now gonna be doing loans that they can help their agents with and increase the profitability of their company. So when we think about the long-term trajectory and the long-term success of the company itself on whether you want to be an investor or whether it makes sense to even own the stock, those are the things that I think about. So what questions do you have about eXp Realty stock? Again, I'm not going to give you investment advice, but I wanted to tell you at least what I think about it. If you have other questions about eXp Realty, go in the description. I have a playlist. This is one of many videos that I'm doing kind of breaking down the eXp Realty model and addressing common questions and concerns. If you want to talk to me about eXp Realty, I have my contact info down there as well. Happy to tell you about my nationwide team and what I do for my agents who join me at eXp, including some exclusive trainings and my exclusive library of content. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one.